This past month, I did something kind of crazy. Well, maybe you guys are used to it by now, but I rescued and brought home 15 dogs over a 30 day period of time. These dogs came from a variety of situations. Charlotte came first. She was dumped in the middle of the Mojave Desert and found by one of our followers when they were out ATVing. Charlotte was super skinny and shy, but she eventually warmed up to us. Oh, are you having a fun time? Are you having fun time? <laughs> I love this dog. I know, she's such a sweetie pie. She's totally she coming out of her shell. Belgian malinois. Uh -huh, yeah. Next came the pities. A mom who's been bred over and over again her entire life, along with her two-year-old daughter, Tina. Hi, brother. It's okay. You're really Hi. sweet. He's really sweet. Hello, sweetie. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, mommy. Hi. Are you going to come say hi to me? Hi. Oh, and it turned out Mama Dog also came with nine puppies. So all of a sudden, we were sharing our home with 11 pit bulls. <laughs> I then got a call from a shelter in Central California asking if I'd foster a very shy dog who'd just given birth at the shelter. I drove four hours to see her sweet face and bring her home. Sandy also came with her two darling little puppies. When they first got here, their little eyes weren't even open yet. Fostering and rehabilitating animals looks different every time. For Mama Pity, it was all about getting her back to a healthy weight. For her daughter, Tina, it was mostly behavioral. I spent a lot of time working on crate training, manners, and walking with her on the leash. For Sandy, at first, it was medical. She was completely covered in fleas and ticks. Once we got Sandy cleaned up, my next task for both her and Charlotte was helping them come out of their shells. A good foster parent is someone who meets all the basic care requirements of their foster dog, but a great foster parent is somebody who also focuses on making that dog as adoptable as possible. I wanted to make sure all these dogs were well socialized and trusting of humans, so we decided to give them the best doggy weekend ever. We took the dogs on a beautiful hike. We gave them a pool party. Let's go! Let's go everyone! Come on! Did you have a good day? Did you have a great day? <laughs> Hi Charlotte. Did you have a great day? Everyone had doggy cake. And we even took Sandy on a shopping spree to complete her transformation from being covered in ticks to being fluffy, confident, and fashionable all at the same time. Sandy's also not much of a hiker, so I think she enjoyed having some quality one-on-one -on -one time where all the focus could be on her. So the next thing that we got to do for all of the dogs was give them a wisdom panel DNA test, which is the most comprehensive DNA test um, out there on the market. Okay, ready to take your DNA? Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. 
and uh, in addition to testing for 350 different dog breeds, um, Wisdom Panel, the premium kit, also screens for over 200 health and trait tests. These are things related to drug sensitivities, vision, weight, mobility, um, and basically help you learn more about your dog's health so that you can properly care for them. And so I want to set all owners up for success when they get to adopt their dog from me. So not only do I like to focus on socialization and manners and training, but also uh, when I do a wisdom panel test, I'm able to inform them of, you know, what breed makeup their dog is, but also if they're sensitive to any different drugs, if they have any sort of underlying conditions that they need to be aware of. All right, so we just have to let these dry for 15 minutes. We'll put them back in here. And then this is actually all good to go to be uh, mailed out. So it's pretty easy. I think it really just helps set parents up for success with their dogs. And I was blown away by how much info came back from the results. I mean, it'll tell you about their history, their ancestry, their breed info. Um, you can even, it'll even tell you what their markings um, may look like. Um, like when we go into Sandy's DNA profile, it shows us what her markings look like, if she's a, a high shedding dog, if she won't shed a lot. These findings will help me pair them with the right owner. One of the things we learned was that uh, Mama Pity got out multiple times and mated with multiple dads because when we did the DNA test, um, the puppies, yeah, they had two different dads. So that was fun. <laughs> and it makes sense because I always thought half of them had really stubby legs. We were also able to see, you know, that the dogs didn't have any genetic disorders that, you know, needed to be on our radar. So that was really reassuring to know as well. So huge thank you to Wisdom Panel for partnering with us and helping us take the best care possible of our dogs and set them up for success in their new homes. Hey. <laughs> Good job, Bubba. I think we got it. Good job. Good girl. <laughs> I think I went over the a lot of time. There we go. Enjoying yourself. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Push it in, Fawn. Good job. Good job, baby girl. You did it. You did it. Hi. She's getting adopted today. Oh my gosh, we found the perfect couple for her. They have lots of pity experience and they were like gonna go see a couple of other dogs after her, but they were like, they went to go in their car and then they came back out and they were like, we can't see any other dogs. We know she's the one. I'm so happy for you, mama. Oh, you're such a sweet girl. Yeah. So anyways, that's such good news, right? She definitely required a, a special home. And we found it. It was so fun getting to reveal the DNA results to all of their adoptive parents. Everyone was so into it. Everyone was taking bets and so fascinated by the breakdown because it's so detailed. And Charlotte's parents, for example, they were so convinced that she was a Belgian Malinois. And it turns out, you know, she's only 13%. So it was really fun to talk to them. So now I want you guys to take bets on the percentage you think that she is of Belgian Malinois. 70. Okay, so yeah, she's actually 13%. Mm. <gasps> so she's primarily a German Shepherd. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And she also has great Pyrenees in her. <gasps> that's it. When I was wow. saying Mastiff, that's it. That makes sense, the little ears, how they flop and how they're short. Great she's, Pyrenees, German Shepherd, and Belgian. What else? She's 27% pity. <gasps> wow. Really? Yeah. Wow, she, she has such a blend. And she's 13% husky. The past month has just been so rewarding seeing these dogs come from really rough situations and blossom here, come out of their shell and find their forever homes. It's always hard, you know, even though I've done this many times now for me to say goodbye, but it's so rewarding. There's nothing like it, seeing them find their perfect forever home. Uh, so again, a huge thank you to Wisdom Panel for helping make this happen. 
I can't believe we were able to, to care for and rescue so many dogs this month. It was so wonderful, you know, seeing the mama's puppies grow up and blossom. And uh, I can't wait to share our next adventures with you guys. So if you have a dog or you know someone who does, who would be interested in knowing more about their health history or their DNA, you can check out Wisdom Panel and use code PICKLES20 at checkout to save 20% off. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.